Hi Biology 400. My name is Mr. Workman and we're going to get started on how to use your microscope. First let me show you where they are. Here's your lab station. You're going to find your microscope in this cabinet. Notice how I'm grabbing the arm of the microscope and the base at the same time. We always use two hands to carry our microscope. I'm going to take the dust bag off and replace that in the cabinet, shut the door. What I like to do is orient my microscope so that the arm of the microscope is going to face away from me as I work. So I'm going to turn my microscope around this way. And that way I can really see the stage and manipulate the slide on the stage as I need to. My next step is to unwrap my cord. And you don't have to unwrap it all the way. And I'm going to plug this in on the opposite side of my lab station so that the cord isn't hanging down and we don't trip on it. The next thing I'm going to do is get this near my work area. Get my stool set up so I'm in the right place and rotate the ocular lens so that it's going to face me as I do my work. <clears throat> so I'm going to sit at the microscope and it's at the right height for me to use. I'm going to make sure that the slide or the stage is all the way down by rotating my course focus toward me. The other thing that I'm going to do is make sure that my fine focus knob is adjusted so that it's in the middle of the fine focus range. So I'm going to have you zoom in and look right here. And there's one, two, three marks here. And what I can see is that my fine focus is near the bottom of its range because the white mark on the beige area is not is not centered between the two marks on the black area. So I'm going to rotate this up a little bit so that my fine focus is centered. I don't know if you can see that. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn my light on and I'm going to make sure that my scanning objective lens is selected. The red lens on these microscopes, that's the shortest objective lens, that's the scanning objective. The next thing I'm going to do is make sure that my light adjustment is appropriate. So I'm going to dial my diaphragm. This is the diaphragm disc right here. I'm going to dial it up to the number three setting, which is the medium light setting. You might need more light for really thick specimens or high, high power resolution, or you might need low light, lower light for thin specimens and lower magnification. My next step is to get my specimen. This is a prepared slide of an Elodea leaf. And what I'm going to try to do is center the specimen in the stage opening. So I'm going to place this slide under my slide clips and I'm going to try to see that the light is actually shining through the specimen and I can see that the specimen is somewhere near the center of the stage opening. <clears throat> my next step is to raise the stage all the way up. Now we're only going to do this if we have scanning power selected. And with this raised all the way up, pretty close to the scanning power objective lens, I know I'm pretty close to being in focus. So now what I'm going to do is look into the microscope, and it's not quite in focus. It looks a little fuzzy. So I'm going to rotate this back down a little bit with the course adjustment knob so that my specimen starts to come into sharp, clear focus. The next thing I want to do in some cases is to look at a higher magnification. To do that, we're going to select another objective lens. The thing to realize is that if it's in focus in 
scanning power, it's going to be close to focus with our low power. The microscope is constructed so that the objective lens is at differing, uh, varying distances. Being in focus means being at the right distance from your specimen. So I'm going to go back in here, and at this point, all I should really need to do is adjust with the fine focus knob. If I want to magnify even more, realize when you magnify more, what I'm going to do is look to the side, make sure that my lens isn't going to strike the slide, and it's close. It's going to be close at high power. And all I'm going to need to do at this point is adjust the fine focus just a little bit. If you need to, at higher power, you might want to dial up the diaphragm to a higher light setting. So I'm going to go from 3 to 4 here. And now at higher power, that looks a little bit better. So that's, those are the procedures to follow to get into good, clear, sharp focus. When we're at high power, realize that we see more detail, but a smaller field of view. When I'm done using my microscope, what I want to do is lower my stage all the way, switch back to scanning power, and then I have plenty of clearance to reach in there and pull the slide out. I'm going to put the slide down. I'm going to turn off my microscope. Turn my ocular lens back around. Unplug. Wrap up the cord. Get my dust cover bag. Cover the microscope. With two hands, grab the arm and the base and place it back into the cabinet. Close the cabinet door and we're done. Hope you like science, everybody.